Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you're coming back, thank you so much. We're gonna be talking about the AMC Short Squeeze and a week in review. We're gonna figure out what's going on here because who knows, right? Uh, first of all, like I said, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This channel has grown exponentially. I started it back in April. Last, in less than three months, we've grown to about 3,200 subscribers. So thank you so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button with the little bell, that notifications down there. That'll alert you every time I upload a new video on cryptocurrency, on stocks, on just basic life stuff. You know, stuff to help. The channel's all about improving your way of life, bettering your life and the life of your family, and that's what I'm all about. Uh, please comment in the section below, comments, let me know what's going on in your world, love to hear about it. Um, also, real quick, I've noticed on my demographics when I take a look at my YouTube analytics, a lot of my viewers are typically from the ages of about 24 up to 45-ish. So let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see more crypto? Do you want to see more AMC? Do you want to see, what do you like? What do you like to see? I'll start doing videos and uh, we'll take it from there. But please leave me a comment in the section below, in the comment section below. Uh, AMC. What, what, what the hell was this week all about? I mean, I can't, I can kind of figure it out, but I think they're trying to rattle the tree a little bit. The big hedge funds, they're trying to rattle the tree. We've been battling them. Uh, rather, they've been battling us in trying to bring that price down a little bit, scare the poop out of people so they sell. A lot of people, you know, you gotta understand, combined with a lot of the FUD, the fear and uncertainty that's going on in across all social media platforms, you've got a lot of people on, on Reddit, you got bots, you got shills, you got FUD spreaders that wanna really kinda twist your brain and scare the crap out of you to make you wanna sell, you know? Cause it's never gonna make it, ah, oh, you're in a bad position. And then they drop the price and then people are like, yeah, oh my God, and they get out. So they're shaking the tree a little bit, but the real ape is holding diamond hands. We know it's all a bunch of crap. We know the numbers, we know the numbers are there, uh, you know, the short positions are, are astronomical and they have to cover those positions. It's that simple. They got to cover them. Now, will they cover them the way we want to? Probably not. Um, and and what, what I mean by that is this is going to be a very, a very orchestrated event. Okay. The hedge funds are not stupid. These guys are genius. I mean, these guys, they're where they're at for a reason. They're in charge of billions of dollars, people's portfolios from all around the world, and they're there to manage their money and make them money. They're not there to lose their money, So they're and, and they control the market. Let's face it, they control the market, so they're genius. So they got themselves in what we call a pickle, you know? They got themselves in a little hot tamale right now. They didn't expect these apes, us retail investors, to come in, buy and hold on a company they shorted. They thought AMC was going out of business because of the pandemic. Okay, and it made sense. It was smart money. Who's gonna to go to the theater during a pandemic? Nobody. Nobody wants to catch the COVID, you know? So, of course, it sounded like they were going out of business, they shorted it, we started buying. Somebody on Reddit or one of these guys decided, hey, if we start buying these up, these shares, we can make a lot of money if we hold. Our job, my job, and this is not financial advice, do not take my word for it. I'm just a guy doing YouTube videos. What do I know? What I do know is my job is solely to hold my positions because if I don't sell them the positions that they owe back, they can't buy them until I set the price, until the price goes to a number that I'm comfortable with. Another thing I want to talk to you about, your play in this should be where you're comfortable. You gotta take a look at it. This is not the only play that's gonna be. And, and, and again, smash that subscribe button, please, because I'm gonna be doing videos in the future. What I learn online and from other people that I talk with, I'm gonna start sharing with you more and more as time goes on. Other plays. There's tons of stuff coming up. So if you wanna learn about stuff coming up, plays that you can get into, smash that subscribe button, like the video. But I'm talking about this is a big play. This is most likely the mother of all short squeezes because it's the most heavily shorted stock I think we've ever seen ever. Is it going to make us all money? Absolutely. Absolutely. Is it going to happen tomorrow? No. It's going to be a managed, orchestrated event. 
So what that means is, and they probably should have done this, uh, if you watch Lou versus Wall Street, this guy's genius. Not for everybody, but he's a genius. He's a, he's a sweet guy. Check him out on YouTube. But he had made a very valid point over the weekend, and that was, if the hedge funds were smart, they would have driven the price up to two, three, or $400 last week. In doing so, it would have shaken probably 40 to 60% of the people that are invested like you and me out. They've been like, oh, I'm happy, 100,000, 500,000, I'm gone. But that wasn't the case. They hung out, ladder attacked, they did a whole bunch of stuff with the stock and just kind of chilled out on the sidelines. So what they're probably gonna end up doing, now, again, let me stop for a second, because you got a lot of people on YouTube talking about $500,000 a share, $100,000. Technically, based on the numbers and the math that we know, those numbers are doable if you hold your position, if you don't sell. Eventually, it could get to that number. Will it? Is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? Come on, right? So you gotta think about a number that's comfortable for you and your family. What do I mean by that? Like I said, no matter what happens, we're all gonna make money. No question about it. I'm telling you, we're gonna make money. And we're gonna make, we're gonna be very happy. But you gotta look at the number for yourself and your family. What's it gonna be for, and again, more plays to come. This is not the only thing that you can get involved in. But there's gonna be more stuff in the future. You know, if you look back in my videos, I got one called the perfect storm. Things coming together to make another event that's going to, astronomical event possibly, that could open up a ton of investing opportunities, shorting opportunities and whatnot. But this is not the only thing. But so, so you gotta realize, you can't be too greedy. You gotta be, you gotta be like, what do I need to, I mean, if you saw 500 grand, say you got 10 shares and you saw 40 grand in your account. Is that cool with you? Are you, could you live with that? Keep in mind you got capital gains taxes, about 47% or whatever. You gotta give that up to Uncle Sam. But is that number cool with you? Can you, can you be okay with that? Can you say, I'm done, I'm out, I'm gone. That's what you gotta ask yourself. How about 50 grand, how about 100 grand, 500,000? I know a lot of people haven't seen 500, $100,000 in their entire life at one time in their account. Is that a good number for you to get out? Is $500,000 good, is a million, you gotta look at your number, take a look at what you're willing to say, you know what, I'm done until the next play. Now with 500,000, a million dollars, you can do real estate plays, you can park that money somewhere. That would be an incredible long-term investment for you and your family. So I'm just trying to say, and, and, and again, you knew going into this that this was gonna be a roller coaster ride, that we're in for the fight of our lives, and it's not gonna be an overnight deal. If you've got time, and that money can sit on sitting there for a while in AMC for a while, you're gonna be beautiful, you're gonna be good because eventually those numbers are ticking up. It's gonna go, it could happen as soon as this week. It might not, but it could. Again, they're managing, it's up to them. They're the market makers, they make shit happen. So we don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody on YouTube knows what's gonna happen. So if somebody tells you oh, it's gonna be 500,000 this time next week, See ya. Nobody knows. Only the market makers and who are really in charge of this. Now, I've also heard numbers that the actual price of this stock right now could be in the thousands in the dark pool. So all these things that I'm hearing, all the buzz around town and in, in, in the internet community here, on YouTube, on Reddit, people that I talk to, all arrows are pointing in the direction that we're gonna make a lot of money. So hang in there. Stay lovely, you know, and, and enjoy the ride. This is the ride of your life. Th these things do not come around that often, these types of plays. But I promise you, if you subscribe to the channel and you smash that like button, I'm gonna do videos for you on different plays that I learn about. And you make your own decisions whether you wanna get involved or not. But I promise you, I'll never turn you on to something that I'm not gonna do. That's the truth. Now I do cryptocurrency videos uh, on, on picks that I like. 
I like to help people put together a, and again, not financial advice, but I like to help people put together like a crypto portfolio, you know, like a, a mutual fund, if you will, of cryptos. That way, if one doesn't do well, one does well, a couple do real well, and one, it's like a balancing act, you know, but over time you do phenomenal. So I'll be sharing with you all the plays that I'm making, and hopefully uh, it could be life-changing for you and your family. You know what I mean? That's, that's my goal. That's all I want to do here, is help you realize your dreams, get out of the rat race, and live a life the way we deserve. You know, we're human beings on a beautiful, gorgeous planet with beautiful places to visit, and a lot of us can't even get out of our city. That sucks. So if I can show you how to take 10 bucks and turn it into 100, let's do this. You know, that's what it's all about, really. And uh, that's my promise to you. So AMC, this short squeeze is going to go somewhere. We're all going to make some money. Whether you got five shares of AMC or you got 5,000, we're going to make money with this. And then we're going to be like, woo, that's over. Let's go back and do something else now. Let's do what's the next play, Adam, and I'm going to share that with you. So if you want to see something particular, whether it be crypto or whatever, drop it down in the comments. I will be glad. I communicate with most all comments. I've been trying to catch up on a lot of comments dating back a month. As I said, the channel's grown from like zero to 3,400 or 3,200 today, I think, within under three months. So we're doing something right here. Join the channel, become a part of the family, and uh, we're gonna see you next time. Take care.